Hello kids, this is Cascade and we are back in the long dark, the continuing adventures of Mary Moose. We are in a trio of different cabins here and uh, we are pretty tired. Let's see what time of day it is. It looks like the sun is just now getting ready to go down. Uh, we are over encumbered a little bit, but uh, we're on the extreme north end of Mystery Lake map. And uh, I think we're going to take shelter here tonight. Uh, I can't recall what all I searched. So this let's see what happens. Handy. I think I have some mittens already. Ooh, I'll take that. Let me see those mittens again. Let's see. Decent fleece mittens. Okay, what do we have? We have decent fleece mittens. Okay, so... We will leave it there. We've got some uh, some wood here. What is that down there? Some work pants. I thought I took that last time. Maybe not. We're just going to go ahead and loot some more stuff here. Some work pants. I'll take those. I think we are in the third... The third little cabin here. Or third little trailer. And I'm crouching down now trying to see what I can see underneath the beds. Pretty sure we searched this. I'll take it. I uh, do not need that. Take the jerky. And I'm going to stand up. Newspaper, energy bar, candy bar, flare. Handy. Okay, I think we kind of looted everything. There's a bedroll here if I want. Well, I could just harvest that if I wanted to. Let's go see what the map says over here. Um, and it says nothing, nothing important. Uh, sounds like it's a little windy outside. I'm going to just step outside to see where we are at. Oh, looks nasty. There is a place over here to uh, warm up, but we are going to go back inside. And what we will do is, I think, we will read a book. We started reading this. Um, so let's uh, read this some more. This will help us with our skills on the bow and arrow. So you can see right here, I've read almost all of it. So let's read it for another. Oh, it says zero to five hours research. Okay, I'm going to do two hours here of research and read this. Looks like the moon is coming up. Let's we'll see if we can read for uh, one hour. We might not have enough light and there we go that is uh, three of five hours let's see if we can do one more and it will not let us I don't think and it's too dark to read so we will go back and it is very dark but I can still kind of see some things here oh we are tired so we're going to take a nap. We're going to just take a nap for an hour. And then we'll take another nap for a little bit longer. So take a nap for an hour. Because when I wake up, I want it to be close to getting light outside. And we've survived two days and 10 hours and 16 minutes. And we are still sleepy. The moon is up pretty good, so what I'm going to do now, and it looks like we could use some water, so why don't we get a drink of water. And, ooh, we could use some more water, so let's drink some water here. Okay. And that should, uh, uh, we are full up on water right now. So let us get something to eat. 
Let's see, beef jerky, candy bars, energy bars. This one looks pretty bad. I'm gonna drop this one. It's at 36%. I don't wanna take a chance of getting sick. So we will drop that one. And we'll have a little bit of beef jerky, but it will also dehydrate us a little bit. So we'll watch the uh, hunger meter go up, but the uh, thirst meter go down. Let's go back. Let us, ooh, we are sleepy. We're gonna go ahead and just try to sleep through the night. Let's try to sleep for, ooh, let's go for nine hours. And hopefully we're getting close to daylight when we wake up here in just a little bit. And you can hear the wind whipping and the sun is coming up. We are fully warm. Uh, we could use some water. Why don't we go out here and try to, let's see which way the wind is blowing. Try to, oh, that is, that is a horrible, horrible conditions but let's go over here and just see if we can heat up some water it's a blizzard condition not good at all so let's go in here at least we're protected a little bit from the wind which is a good thing let's see what I will have a stack of papers I will have a stick let's see if we can start this puppy up Mary needs some more water. We're gonna have to wait it out here before we move on. Oh, it did not start. I do not like that. I'm gonna take some charcoal before I forget. Put that away. Let's see if we can start this fire up. Not a magnifying glass. Let's see, cattail. I'm gonna use a cattail. I'm gonna use one of the books. I just wanna start this fire up. 80% chance. It should start up. Come on, Mary, talk to it. Come on, little Failed. Okay, she talked to it. That was 80% chance. We might not be able to start a fire in this kind of uh, weather. Let's try it again with another hum, with another with another book, a cattail. Come on, let's get this thing going. Talk to it, Mary. Third time is the charm. Let's add some reclaimed wood to this. Add a couple of them here. Back. We are staying warm, which is fantastic. So we will use one of these. And, uh, oh, you know what? I do not wanna cook any tea. I want to heat up some water. Let's get half a liter of water here. Cook this up. Another half liter of water. We're going to do a little boiling of some water here. I am staying warm. And you can see it is a horrible horrible blizzard let's take a look at the map so we are right over here in these trailers and uh mary actually started out south of here down here in the trapper's homestead we made our way up there is a lake right here and we made it to this cabin and then we went to a destroyed lookout here and now we are in these trailers so we are in the extreme northern part of the map and we are going to head east and see what that brings then we might circle around in the middle uh, and open up some more of the map so let's go back see what our water looks like seven minutes till melted three minutes till melted and the good thing is, is that we are warming up. So 
even though this is exposed here the wind is blowing sideways you can see the snow going sideways there and you do not want to travel in these kinds of conditions check our inventory we're a little bit over encumbered 31 kilograms the backpack is suited for 30 kilograms um, so we could eat we could drink to uh, help out with that why don't we have a one of these pops here orange soda I should say we will drink this down and it helped a little bit with our hunger as well so that was really good so we gotta wait for this to boil out it's getting in the morning sooner or later I hope I hope it calms down if it does Mary can travel on travel east 56 minutes left in the fire just check and see how much charcoal we have and we have six pieces of charcoal so we have some pretty good stuff we have quite a few flares you know what we could actually drop a flare and that would not hurt us we did pick up a rope which is really really nice for climbing cliffs uh, but you can see they're pretty heavy five kilograms is pretty heavy uh, we could use a knife and we could use okay we're gonna go ahead and drink this and take the can and this one we will just put away and we will pick this up and we you know what we can still stay here and warm up by the fire we are doing pretty good our bellies half full got plenty of liquids in us uh, we're getting tired um, but we are staying warm we just got to ride the storm out ride the storm out so Mary is feeling pretty good yeah we got a little bit of cover here in the corner I wonder what happened to this place looks like the wind is coming out of the north Let's see how much longer we have 43 minutes we're just gonna stay out here as long as we can stay warm we'll stay out here kind of boring though uh, let's see man it is just terrible conditions we'll go look for a few sticks but we can't wander too far because it is dangerous what do we have here oh it's just a rock just a rock well I am a little afraid to go too far see our temperature immediately starts to drop going up a little incline here just a few sticks would be nice a few sticks oh here we go there's one there's two yeah there's some more over here I just got to make it back and not get lost I could always I guess go past my uh, footprints and if I can find them there they are and there we are so we got three I'm pretty happy pretty happy there's another stick 
See if there's any more over here. Do not see any. I'll get this one. See the temperature, how much the temperature has gone down already. Here is another stick. Oh, it's letting up. The temperature is letting up. Let's go see if we can get some more fire. Some more fire. Oh, that is good news. We might be able to clear out of here. See how much time is left. 30 minutes. Hey, I like that. We can warm up now. Let's crouch down. Our temperature is going up and it is letting up. It is now early morning. Snowing lightly. Really pretty. We are warming up. We've got some food in our backpack. We've got some water. Let's check and see how much water we have. We have 1.45 kilograms. We are doing pretty well. We have some sodas. We have some uh, candy bars, an energy bar. If we had a knife, we could butcher that rabbit that we have. We've got 21 minutes left on the fire. And then we are going to venture out. Let me take a look at the map again. And so we are up here and we are going to try to head to the east, straight along the east. Back we go. Come on fire, come on fire. How many sticks do we have now? Always got to check everything out. So, got 13 sticks, that's doing pretty good. We could always want more matches. More matches is great. We do have some wood, which is fantastic. Um, we have some newspaper. Uh, now the magnifying glass, it can be used to uh, start a fire when it's sunny outside. You can actually use the magnifying glass uh, to start a fire. So 12 minutes left. We continue to warm up. I'm going to stand up a little bit here. I want to get the coals from here, although I don't really need them. What we might do is take off and go see where we can go. So I think the road was out here. So if we could go out this way and pick up that road where it was. I thought it was out this way a little bit. And there's a little icon up ahead showing me that supposedly something is off here in the distance. What it is. I don't know, but this is actually pretty good weather. The temperature is going down. This looks like a nice level path right here. We will follow this and see where this takes us. I don't feel bad about the weather conditions. It's like the snow is starting to dissipate a little bit. Where will we wind up? we could use a knife. I know there's lots of twigs and stuff out here, but I just want to stay on this path as much as possible unless I see something out of the corner of my eye. Take a look around, but not too much. I don't want to go up into the hills. I don't want to risk a sprained ankle. So let's stay on this path here. Ooh, it looks like a power line up ahead. That is pretty promising. I might go scavenge for some sticks over here. I see some. It's always good to have some sticks. Start fires or when you get low on wood for emergency situations. 
it's free wood. You don't have to use your hatchet, your axe, to cut it up because every time you use your axe, it will uh, it'll wear down, and so you need to uh, get it going again. So that is definitely good news. That sign of civilization it looks like a little parked uh, trolley car there. Let's go see what that is. Let's come out here. And what is that? Train loading area. Let's go check this out and see what we have. Maybe we can uh, loot this area for some uh, goodies. Maybe we could find a knife. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Okay, can we get in here? No, looks like we cannot. So, I will go around the logs. It's a railroad track here. So, let's see, can we get in this way? Uh, maybe so. And we can. Let's see what is in here. Ooh, this is a book that we could read to uh, practice our... F oh, there we go. Bingo. Oh, lucky day. Yes, it is, Mary. Lucky day. 86%. It's in pretty good shape. Let's crouch down here. Okay. Don't want to stay here too long. I guess we could sleep here. I do have a sleeping bag. I will loot this as best I can. A rifle cartridge. Okay. So, okay, we've got what we needed out of there. Let's just take a general look around the area here. We are over encumbered. Okay, where shall we go? What is over here? Is this a rock? What is this? It is a rock. Shall we go to the north or to the south? Let us head south. What is that? These rocks always think it's something important, but tis not. Beautiful, beautiful scenery. The snow lightly falling. Oh yes, you are getting cold, Mary. We would do well to find some shelter or at least build a fire. Looks like something's up ahead here. What is that? Is that another train car? Oh, there is a carcass there. Oh, here is some sticks. I'm gonna not pass up the sticks. Oh, we can put this knife to work. Yes, we have a deer carcass. I wonder what kind of deer this is. Maybe a, maybe a caribou, maybe an elk. I'm not really sure. Oh, there's some other stuff here too. Let's go check this other stuff out. Oh, it's a med kit. Let's see what's inside here. I think I can use this. Bandage, disinfectant, another flare. Boy, we have the flares. Oh, another knife. Boy, this is our lucky day. Oh, a frozen corpse. And there's nothing here. Here's a plastic container. Beef jerky. Matches. I'll take them all day long. A feather. 
tool kit. Hmm, usable for basic crafting and repair. I'll take that. I am way, way over encumbered. I am going to keep trying to find shelter. I'm going to go this way. I know where the deer carcass is. I wonder if I can get in here. I need to find shelter. Mary is very, very cold. Is that something moving up ahead? It's hard to see. Cannot tell. We can always come back this way, and we should come back this way. Okay, surely there is something that we can find. Is that... Oh, I hear a wolf. That is not a very comforting... Oh, there is the wolf. Let's go over here to this side. to try to scare the wolf and there it is over there let's keep going Mary keep going it looks like the power line actually branches off to the left here at a 90 degree angle let us go see if anything interesting is back there the two wolves there or is that a deer back in the distance it's hard to tell I'm going to put this away. Oh, I just threw it. Let's pick it up. I wonder if we can put it out. How do we put it out? Okay, we picked it up. Throw it. Can we put it out? Uh, we cannot. It looks like once it starts, it has started. I cannot put it away. Oh! Ladies and gentlemen, we have a nice looking cabin with the red maple leaf flag flying high. It's still lightly. Oh, Mary is very, very cold. Let's get inside. We need to get inside. Desperately, desperately, desperately. Get inside, get inside. Oh man, this is paradise right here. Oh, let's heat up the stove real quick. Heat up the stove. Lit flare, yes. Uh, cattail, stack of papers, yes. Not a book. How about a stick? Start fire. Come on. Come on, little fire. Talk to it, Mary. Make it work. Make it work. Perfect. And it is working. Let's uh, add another reclaim. Good. Let's see, what else do we want to put in here? Man, I, I'm going to add one of these, although I don't really need it. So we've got one hour and 30 minutes. Oh, man. Let's throw this over here. Oh, that was a nice grunt there, Mary. I like your grunt. Oh, we are in fantastic shape. I guess we should stand by the fire. What time of day is it? Oh, it's like noon. 
Might as well try to cook something. Let's see if we can find anything here in the kitchen. So the temperature is going up for us. Looks like there's some food or something over there. Is this a kitchen? What is this place? Oh, there's some more reclaimed wood, it looks like. Ooh, Mary has hit the jackpot. There's a lantern back here. Some lighter fluid, just from what we can see. And Mary is starting to heat up a little bit, which is fantastic. Why don't we have some tea? And we will cook this. It'll be ready in 12 minutes. We will come back and that'll help us to... Ooh, some more papers. Oh man, it would be nice if we could find some clothing in here somewhere. Really nice. Ooh, matches take those all day long. Some more matches. This is Mary's day. Two knives. Not one, but two. Another jerry can. I don't know why you'd call it a jerry can. Okay, there's a cooking pot here. Hmm. So far I haven't needed a cooking pot. Another recycled can. I just need... There's only got two spaces for... Ooh, some more tea. Man, we are over encumbered. I should probably leave some of these uh, papers here. I think... I will do that. So I've got three papers. I've got four over here. Is that right? Okay, let's uh, let's let's just dump these. Drop, drop, drop. I'm gonna drop a couple of these. Oh, I hear my tea boiling over here. So let us drink this. This should warm us up. Oh, that feels great. Feels great. I'm going to leave the jerry can here. I know where it is at. I just call that a gas can. Oh, pork and beans. This will come in handy. Spray paint. We can mark our direction with the spray paint. There's the uh, papers I just dropped. Let's drop down here and see if we see anything down below. More pork and beans. Mary is excited. Let's crawl through here, see if we can see anything back here. And I see nothing. Nothing down below. Oh, wow. Mary is doing so good. Okay, there's more wood. There's more newspaper. I don't need any of that right now. Ooh, what is this? It looks like well, a fishing line. Handy. We are going to have to drop some stuff here. We are way over encumbered. But we've got a nice little place. Some more cloth bandages. Hmm. I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to leave that disinfectant there. Got this table and this chair which we could chop up uh, for reclaimed wood. Oh, a down vest. Maybe we could use that. Care. I think I have one already. Uh, so I will leave it. I know where it's at. Recycle can. More paper. Lighter fluid. We'll take that. I have a lantern already. So I'm going to leave that. That's 77%. So that one's actually better than the one we have. Let me see what we have here. Um, down here, do we have a lantern? Yes, it's at 54%. So we are going to drop this one. Oh, it's got some fuel in it. 0.76 liters. It's almost got... I'm going to just go ahead and keep this one. Um, 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 um. Yeah, I will keep this one. Let's see if there's anything in this group that I can drop. I do not need two knives, so I'm going to drop this one knife here. And do I need the tool kit? Usable for basic crafting and repair. I'm going to go ahead and just keep that. 
Um, let's see. I could set up a rabbit trap. That would be nice. Let's just go through all the inventory. Okay, I've got three disinfectants, so I'm going to drop one of these. Okay, this hat's really not the best. I'm going to drop one of these lighter fluids. Just trying to get rid of some weight here. Got two books. I'm going to get rid of this beef jerky. Let's see, can opener's good. Hmm, hmm, hmm. You know what? I don't think I need all this wood. I'll drop it somewhere else. I did have a vest. You can see the vest there. I'm going to drop a couple of these flares. I only need one. But I'll save two. Got a knife. I've got an axe. Got, I mean, I've got lots of food, which is really, really nice. Let's see if I can cut open this harvest this uh, rabbit carcass. Ooh, and I will get some meat out of it. I will get some hide and I'll get some gut. So let us harvest this. Nothing to harvest. Why not? Oh, maybe I got to use my knife. Nothing to harvest. Why not? I thought I could. Let me drop the rabbit. Where is the rabbit at? Peter Cottontail, I'm going to drop you. And it's still really good, 96%. Man, I could use some better clothing. This clothing stinks. Am I wearing this? Decent sweatshirt, 0.4. Um, wool sweater, 0.3. Um, actions? Um, no, I don't want to harvest it. Back. Um, what is this? Ragged Simple Parka? 0.7. I'm going to have to get my clothing in line here in just a little bit. So, oh, let's see these. Oh, we got a lot of these. We're not going to drop those. So, let's go back. Um, 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 oh, whetstone. This will help me with the knife. I need to keep that. That is good. Okay, anything in here? Anything back there? No. Okay, there's all the stuff we just dropped. Uh, we are nice and warm now. We could use some food. What is this? A workbench. Let's drop some... St oh, what can we do with this? It's like we can make some stuff on the workbench. Could make some gloves. Okay. Um, cured gut. Um, reclaim wood in a workbench. We could make. It looks like we could make this. I want about a survival bow. We need two cured guts and one cured maple sapling. Hmm. I am going to... Gosh, how do I harvest that rabbit? See if I can drop that rabbit. Where is the rabbit? Did I drop it over there? Did I drop it? Where is the wabbit? Let's look in my food section. I must have dropped it. Let's go see if we can find the rabbit. There it is right there. So let us, what are we going to do with this? Harvest it. So let's harvest this. Nothing to harvest. Why does it say nothing to harvest? I've got a carcass right in front of me. No tool. Hatchet. Nothing to harvest. Yes, there is. There's a rabbit right there in front of you. Can we do it with our hands? No. Well, let's, let's do this. Oh, we can just click on this and get all the meat. Is that right? Get the hide. And get the gut.
Okay. Do I have it? Let's see if we can... Oh, there we go. We just click on the little arrows and we can harvest it that way. Mary is learning. It looks like the uh, rabbit is no good anymore. So we should have some hide, which I want to put over here. And Mary is getting sleepy. Let's see if we can find the hide in the gut. This is, what is this? It's the broken arrow. This is the gut. So let's drop the gut. Let's drop the hide. And that is pretty good. So, Mary has found this hut. She is a little bit sleepy. She is hungry. Let's get some food in her belly. What shall we eat? How about a candy bar? We got pork and beans. Man, we have got some good stuff. So we'll eat this candy bar. And we'll need to make sure that we get uh, plenty of plenty of uh, loot here at the um, at the cabin and uh, we will come back next episode and see what happens with the adventures of Mary Moose. Until then, thanks for joining in, and I hope your day is a great one.